You can blame Nemesis Blood Reich for writing this entire thing. I'm not correcting any words the text-to-speech might mispronounce or fixing any typos because fuck it. It is not the current temporal disposition to elaborate on the incredible writing on display with the verbal, auditory line delivered by Hal Jordan the Green Lantern of Sector 2814. Quote time, huh? Huh? Thanks, for, Thanks the for the tip unquote. This brilliant line is used to such fantastic effect as to be a transcendent transcription of pure brilliance shone from the heavens, through the gates of Babylon and Uruk straight onto our ears, blessing us with true salvation in the face of the rapture and a one-way ticket straight to God's shiny domain. The line manages to expertly combine the personalities of Hal Jordan and Ben Tennyson, as well as fantastically foreshadow future events, make callbacks to previous events, be incredibly ominous and badass and not to mention is absolutely hilarious to us individuals with IQs in the positive range that are able to think with more than 10% of our brains. The use of Ha at the start fantastically manages to show off Green Lantern Hal Jordan of Sector 2814's newfound plan and genius. Having figured out the perfect method to violently murder the 10-year-old boy he randomly attacked because of the shiny watch he saw and wanted because it is slightly more dangerous than the average cartoon McGuffin. This manages to brilliant convey the character of Green Lantern Hal Jordan of Sector 2814, but also his ability to conjure new plans as well as constructs with his ultimate weapon the fleshy, wrinkly mass of goopy meat in his big fat air force head. It makes it extremely clear he is not only awake and alive, but he's also living and learning, not dying and forgetting. This manages to immediately create a connection between his immensely smooth brain and the shiny marriage ring he got from a bin sir former Green Lantern of Sector 2814 after their tender night in the crater. By making this connection it allows the viewer to understand that his ring is powered by his mind and willpower. Which is important because if someone was to come in not knowing about Green Lantern then this would immediately act as exposition with only a single word. Let's be real. Nobody actually watches the analysis anyway, and if they do then they are either too old and stupid to know how to skip parts of the video or they were busy getting popcorn prepared so they can actually watch the animation. Anyone who is not in those categories is likely clinically insane and do not equate as part of the death battle community. Additionally, it helps to remind us that despite his appearance he's not actually in any pain or hurting, because he was able to spare time to say hi and also make a one-liner. This manages to show us that beauty is not skin deep. You cannot judge his condition and personality based on his appearance. He might be bloody and look like he was just hit with by a multiversal punch in the face moving trillions of times faster than light. But in actuality he was hit by a door level nipple tickle moving at roughly half a light year a year. The blood is in fact all face. Do not forget that reality includes tomato juice. Of course Alien X's line is not brilliant and is actually a stupid cancer inducing line because it is not the line that we are actually talking about. The next part of the line is just as brilliant. By saying thanks, this single word manages to reflect that these two strangers have a high amount of respect for each other, as friends and potentially even sexy steamy forbidden lovers. A statement that is only slightly more creepy than intended when considering this is a grown man making a sexual advancement on a 10 year old. It also allows us to instantly know that Hal Jordan Green Lantern of Sector 2814 is learning specifically from Alien X's prior line, which included the use of the word time. This accurately demonstrates an unparalleled memory from Hal Jordan Green Lantern of Sector 2814 because he was able to remember such a stupid brained idiot line that took place 10,000 billion years prior to when he actually heard it. Because that's roughly how long it'd take for someone to hear sound through space. By reacting so quickly to when Alien X said it he also manages to show that he is immediately appreciative, not just after a long moment of reflection. This also allows tricks the viewers into thinking he will say thank you which is then beautifully subverted when he in fact does not say that. This adds a subtle plot twist to the narrative flow of the battle that delivers a real oh shit moment beyond what anyone was expecting. Without this, the battle would lack a real impactful moment and would fall flatter than my baby sister. It is also incredible that Hal Jordan Green Lantern of Sector 2814 was able to say two sentences faster than Alien X could uncross his arms. This shows his immensely quick Brian and how well he can smart his way through a fight. And that his opponent despite being strong when as any alien aside from Alien X, 
is still a 10 year old. And all 10 year olds are absolute morons with brains as wrinkly as a baby's buttocks and all the experience of that one RPG character you never bothered to level up because he came in at level 1 at the end game and you couldn't be bothered to grind him. This especially shows off how Death Battle decided to use 10 year old Ben Tennyson wielder of the Omnitrix as opposed to teenage Ben Tennyson wielder of the Omnitrix despite using the voice of Ben Tennyson wielder of the Omnitrix. This helps remind us that death battle are not perfect, which is obviously part of the line because this line is in fact perfect and just wants to flex on the rest of the entire show, especially that crappy music track, you know the one. Finally it is a secret metaphorical transcendent multi-galaxy brained way for the series creators Ben Singer voice of Wizard and Chad James voice of Boomstick to communicate that they are both thanking the fans for watching. Thanking Rooster Teeth for buying them out so they can promote a crappy 3D anim show that isn't actually anim. And also thanking the Ben 10 fans for giving them a lifetime supply of salt so they have one less reason to actually leave their basements and interact with the outside world. The use of the word for is also equally as brilliant as the rest of it. It manages to convey both that it is a preposition with the purpose of directing us into the next word in a natural flow and also acts as an anagram and an acronym for other important elements. It manages to reference both the words for and for. For meaning situated or placed in front which is fantastic foreshadowing for the future act of Hal Jordan Green Lantern of Sector 2814's victory and how he is placed in front of Ben Tennyson wielder of the Omnitrix as winner of the death battle. Ben 10 vs Green Lantern. It is also an exclamation used in golf. This makes a brilliant connection to grass which is green. And allows those who didn't notice that the Green Lanterns are in fact green. But even further elaborates that Ben Tennyson wielder of the Omnitrix is in fact also green in color scheme. Explaining to both blind people and absolute morons that these characters use green in their color schemes. A fact that normally wouldn't be worth explaining as anybody over the age of 4 can tell. However anyone who watches Death Battle most likely is not over the age of 4 and as such it is important to express this in the dialogue. This segues us into the fact that 4 also sounds like 4. The number. Which is the fourth number in a linear sequence of whole numbers. Which are numbers that do not involve decimals or fractions and are full integers. 4 is the number between 3 and 5 within the positive ranger above 0. Which is a number that literally means nothing and also should be divided by. By choosing a word that sounds like 4 they manage to connect it to the fact that their core and current audience are either 4 year olds or 30 year old losers with the brains of 4 year olds. Or on rare occasions stupid Yatabas who think they are 4 times more relevant than they actually are. Something that would have more meaning if they were relevant at all and not complete nobodies with no real worth on this digital platform. It also helps to express that Hal Jordan Green Lantern of Sector 2814 is four times stronger, four times better looking, and four times larger in all ways including It seems today that all you see than Ben Tennyson wielder of the Omnitrix. The word for also alludes to the term quarter, referring to how only a quarter of the necessary research for this episode was actually done. Additionally, the number 4 is considered unlucky in most Eastern cultures, which is brilliantly foreshadowing Ben Tennyson wielder of the Omnitrix's death, as he was unlucky in that he happened to be running around in an empty town directly under where Hal Jordan Green Lantern of Sector 2814 just happened to be patrolling at the time. It is also the smallest composite number, which is a reference to how Hal Jordan Green Lantern was fighting a minimal composite of Ben Tennyson that supposedly included all aliens despite only using six. A four-dimensional space is also the highest dimensional space featuring more than three convex regular figures. This is a reference to how Ben Tennyson was extremely high to think he could even stand up to a character who could whip out such an intelligent line. Then this leads us to the word the, which absolute fucking idiots would assume has little meaning other than to direct us to the subject of his line. However as stated they are complete dullards who'd be better watching something more appropriate for their mental age. I'd highly recommend Dora the Explorer, although I am being generous in assuming they have the ability to understand numbers. The is a fantastic word, as it brings to mind other words. Such as Da which is a subtle bit of disrespect from Hal Jordan Green Lantern of Sector 2814. Showing that, while he respects Ben Tennyson the dickhead with a funny watch, 
He does also recognize that he was stupid by not taking off his stupid toy washboard from Walmart when he had the chance and instead escalating the conflict by going through a puberty spurt and becoming a large four-armed red man who got slapped. Within about five seconds. The is also the first word used in the word thesis. This both manages to reference that Ben Tennyson is the sis or the sissy in this conflict. Showing off just how much weaker he is, but also refers to how this line is so brilliant that the writers had to go through four whole thesis on writing, storytelling, quantum mechanics and Brazilian banana cultivation to truly be able to produce such a fantastic line. Although it is not as brilliant a word as the rest, it still has an important place in the phrase. Then there's tip. Tip is an important word because it helps to express that Hal Jordan Green Lantern is getting his information directly from Alien X's stupid dumby dum dum wee wee line. But also that he is tipsy, which shows off that he is so strong he could beat Alien X while drunk. And that he can literally tip Alien X over to kill him if needed, but he will go the further mile because he thinks it is funny. It also references that the death battle team will get money from this episode, being essentially one gigantic tip. It also brings to mind the Big Dipper, dip being a similar word to tip. This helps to show that Hal Jordan Green Lantern of Sector 2814 is an actual star while Ben Tennyson is an obscure cartoon show only idiots who are also artists of Kuro the Cat would bother to remember. Meanwhile Hal Jordan Green Lantern of Sector 2814 was the star of a large Hollywood movie that was obviously a fantastic work of cinema that anyone who does not recognize as the greatest comic book inspired work Ryan Reynolds has ever partaken in. Clearly haven't watched correctly. But of course I hope you don't think I forgot the most important word time. Time is such an absolutely outstanding fucking brilliant super amazing Jesus powered infinitely blessed fantastic epic tubular bodacious shitting awesome or inspiring stupendous splendid superb super special superlative first rate first class. Superior remarkable dazzling marvelous magnificent wonderful exquisite glorious sublime peerless perfect of the first water great fabulous terrific a stellar divine a one tip top top notch tip top. Notch neat mega wicked cool banging crucial brill smashing cracking breathtaking astonishing extraordinary staggering astounding unbelievable prodigious imposing amazeballs mind. Blowing impressive bewildering stupefying word that it cannot even be placed into a category of fantastic and deserves its own tier of divine absolution. The dictionary of Oxford and of Urban are both insufficient in even grasping the smallest possible plank distance of perfection relating to this word. And that is why the line is so good. I hope you understand now. Although considering there are only three people in the whole world with the mental capacity to truly comprehend what I've said, you are likely too stupid and should go back to your daily routine of drinking paint chips and eating the leavings of dinosaurs.